Hey everyone, this is London Bridge Bricks. In this video, I'll be reviewing issue 65 of the official Lego Ninjago magazine. It comes with a cracking poster of coal and a cool foil bag of our favorite ninjoid, Zane. say I do like the Lego Ninjago magazines they're definitely one of my favorite ones this and Star Wars and one or two of the city ones as well they've kind of been really good recently and this one is no exception to that rule we've got up here it says the new Zane minifigure with three sick gadgets okay that's looking good yeah you can see those there you've got the katana there as always but we'll take another look at that in just a tick uh, going around here we've got a nice picture oh that's actually really nice actually that's a new one of coal i think that's looking good look at the coloration there look you've got this artwork here and this artwork here and then one's kind of i don't know really they're, they're, they're quite different in the sense that uh, one's very much kind of look, that looks like the tv animated series and this one looks like a, an artist has spent quite a bit more time on the shadowing i really like that uh, and then down here it's just over here it says shintaro secrets revealed the ninja face a dark new realm okay so this is all to do with the new season of ninjago after the prime empire and we've got new villains here and we've got this guy here uh who's called the skull sorcerer Sounds good, doesn't he? I'm liking his, uh, I'm liking his face, his mask, actually. I think it looks really cool. Anyway, so underneath this uh, cool-looking foil bag, uh, we've got some more details here of what we get in the actual magazine. Of course, we've got the comic there. It's amongst uh, one of my, my favourite features of these magazines. Uh, up here it says, Heroes Lab Labyrinth. Oh, yes, we've got uh, puzzles, of course. Always get that with these. I've uh, got a new, a new character there and a new character there as well. So these guys look like villains. Uh, and they've got details there of our minifigure two with two climbing drills and katana that yeah, looks good doesn't it so like i said before it's issue 65 retails here in the uk for three pounds 99 in australia for nine dollars 99 that seems quite expensive uh if there's anyone here watching from australia is that expensive or is that kind of the the standard kind of price for a, a, a magazine that comes uh, with a minifigure anyway and as always it's brought to us by immediate media so over the page page two what have we got then level up the action so here we go this is still talking about last season uh, this is which i've got to say there's still plenty of sets that i haven't got yet from this uh, of course that's all about the ninjago uh, prime empire series that they did which i think went down really well everyone seems to really like them um i certainly like loads of the figures that came with it especially these rats here i think they look pretty cool with their surfboards there i think it's pretty it's pretty smart so anyway, started at the top here, what have we got there? Who can beat the baddies? So this is going to be uh, one of the games or one of the puzzles, of course. Uh, there he is there, the, the Skull Sorcerer. Says, you don't stand a chance against my magic. <laughs> we'll soon see uh, Ninjago uh, ninjas to the rescue. We've got a couple of posters here. We've got uh, Nia. Uh, I think that looks good, actually. I'm liking that with the, the kind of digi Nia. Uh, Nia in a claret and blue and uh, another outfit over the back there it looks like uh, some sort of diving outfit or something and then look there's that picture of Cole uh, again and we're gonna get that in the poster that's pretty exciting I like that I think the artwork on that looks absolutely tremendous uh, what we've got here where's the comic then so the comic says oh yes it says here comic page 10 and page 22 uh, it says oh, I still have a score to settle oh there's Jay there looks like he's gonna be uh, getting into a little bit of trouble and uh, yeah so there we go that's the index that's, uh, Let's start flying through it then. So page four and see here the ninja are given their next mission. Uh, and it looks like it will be to the kingdom of Shintaro. So here we go. Here we get a, uh, a close up there of the skull sorcerer. Yeah, I'm liking it. Look at, it. Look at the printing going on there. There's no side printing. It's always a shame. Come on, I like some side printing Lego. Do some side prints for us. Uh, but I'm liking, I'm liking his hat and his mask. I think that looks pretty damn good. Uh, but look at the print work there. Look at the intricacy with that. Uh, it's kind of geometric uh, design. Uh, I think I really like that. I'm looking forward to getting that figure. Uh, what does it say over here? The Kingdom of Shintaro. The ninja received an invitation from the secret kingdom of Shintaro to attend the princess birthday celebrations. Okay, this is good. This is where kind of building up to the story of the comic, I guess. Uh, and there's our Ninjago team sporting their new outfits, I suppose. I, 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 I suppose it's the, the Shintaro outfits, I suppose they'll call this. I'm not really sure. But anyways, uh, we've got uh, Master Wu, as always, Dan. He says, the adventure will take my ninja and into the darkest depths 
Okay, this sounds like it's, we're going to be going underground uh, to something or other. But yeah, page five then. Um, we get some facts here about uh, Munson and Gekko. I'm liking the name Gekko. I wonder if that's a play on the on the term Jekyll. But anyway, who are they're, they're, they're sworn enemies. Um, but when you kind of look into their backstory, you kind of see that they're sworn enemies for all the wrong reasons. Uh, if anything, they should they should be in an alliance with each other. Um, but anyway, so you've got the uh, we learn about wearing uh, the skull of the dark magician uh, Hazard Dumour, who gives uh, incredible power of being able to bring skeletons to life. It sounds pretty exciting, doesn't it? It sounds like a it's like a cross between uh, Ninjago and Hidden Side. But anyway, looking good. I'm liking this. This is this is a cool figure. I'm looking forward to getting some sets with him in it. Uh, maybe if you've actually bought some sets, uh, certainly some of the recent sets uh, from Ninjago, uh, tell me what you think about this minifigure. I think he looks pretty cool, actually. The Skull Sorcerer. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so over page six, what do we get then? We get a page about our minifigure. Uh, that we get with the magazine. Of course, we've got Zane there. I do like him in his white. He does look good. Uh, it kind of reminds me a little bit, uh, well, coloration-wise anyway. It looks nothing like him, but the uh, the 501st Battle Pack uh, that's come out, uh, Ryan's Troops, uh, the coloration of the blue and white, I've got to say, I think looks really good. So that'll be a review uh, coming up soon from the channel, folks. But anyway, um, look at all the, all the gadgets we get here. We've got, we've got this, uh, he's the master of ice. There's an enjoyed Zane's program to be ready. Uh, for new and unknown enemies, perfect for Shintaro. This is, of course, the kingdom where they're going to. We got two of these as well. They're kind of what are they called in those? They're calling them the climbing drills. So you've got this, um, got this like staff here. We've got the the, the hilt, uh, and we've got these drills on them. We've got these shurikens on on one end of them as well. They're quite deadly. And of course, uh, we get the katana as well, which is always welcome, especially with Ninjago. So the instructions there, how to put it all together. These are really good little elements. Actually, we're getting with this one, so I'm quite excited about building that. And of course, I'll be building that at the end of uh, reviewing the magazine and uh, and then we'll review him as well see what we think about him but first impressions i really like it especially with the printing on the leg there but anyway <laughs> we'll come we'll come back to that in just a tick so page eight um, we're straight into a puzzle uh, what have we got going on here then so our first puzzle then which is a a kind of a two-in-one so we have a series of zane characters climbing up the mountain and you have to identify which one is the correct one you've got like different different weapons going on there that isn't Zane's uh, weapons of choice. And then we've got this bonus mission here as well. So when you get to the peak and you come down through the tunneling system and you've got to collect these, uh, what do they call those? I think they just call them crystals. Yeah, valuable crystals. And very nice they are too. They look a bit like kryptonite actually, don't they? So what have we got? Another puzzle, page nine. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, suit of, <laughs> I like that, suit of armor, suit of error. I'm liking that. So here we go, we've got the original, we've got the fake there, and you've just got to kind of uh, circle around uh, all the uh, all the ones that are incorrect. So you've got one there, like, there we go, there's Lloyd there. Look at Lloyd's mask, there's, there's the original one. That's what they've done, they've covered it up there. Oh, that's kind of cool. They're kind of my, my favorite sort of puzzles, if I'm honest, I like those. Okay, so page 10, yay, <laughs> love it. And our comic kicks off and it's called uh, The Fight Seeing Tour. That sounds rather ominous, doesn't it? I've got to say. Uh, the artwork as always with these particular magazines is done by Natasha Roma as well. So, our heroes adventured to a new sea. After getting that invite, of course, I'm liking that. She's a pretty cool looking uh, minifigure character. I'm liking that, yeah, it's really cool. I'm liking that with the armor and stuff like that. Um, yeah, very, very uh, kind of armoured uh, warrior. I'm really liking that a lot. So yeah, here we go. And look, ah, here we are, page 11. And uh, they're given a tour by the, the daughter of the, the King of Shintaro, Princess uh, Vania. And uh, we end up in the place uh, that she takes them to. Cause they, they, I think it looks like they must have had some adventure or something actually getting to Shintaro. And uh, their destiny's bounty. There she is, and uh, they've been fixing her back up again after some adventures. Well, sounds pretty cool. I don't, I don't know what, what the adventure was that they got there, but maybe that's something that's brought up in the TV series. So anyway, now it's all fixed up. Of course, they wanna, uh, they wanna take the Destiny's Bounty out for a spin. And uh, they, they kind of unmoor her, undock her, and uh, whew, off they go. So page 13, and uh, they're, gonna, they're gonna put uh, the, uh, uh, the destiny's bounty to the test. Uh, anyway, so the quick the, uh, the 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 princess uh, calls upon some villains, uh, the dire bats, and uh, yeah, so they, they kind of 
<laughs> quite out of the ordinary, they're kind of inviting trouble. So what's going on here then? So page 14, and we see the guards taking down uh, the dire bats, of course. Okay, interesting. So the, so the guards are kind of using the bats as some sort of uh, uh, training, so, so learning some maneuvers and stuff like that. They must be like kind of uh, enemies uh, of that particular uh, race of people. And there we go. Jay, for some reason, gets hold of the, uh, the, 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 the dire bat trumpet as well, the caller. And he says, uh, let's try it with a bit more power. So he plugs it into uh, one of the air vents on the... Um, on the outlet of the Destiny's Bounty. And she's like, oh, no, don't do that. And uh, and then she says, oh, we've got a problem. And Jay's like, Ooh, why is that then? So anyway, uh, as the tension builds, of course, it continues on page 22. Ooh. So tune in for that, folks. So yeah, so that's page 15, uh, page 16. And we've got ourselves uh, another puzzle here with Kai and Cole uh, in the sky. And we have to find out what courses to take uh, to keep this ship on the right track to avoid those uh, those dire bats there, which is kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah, liking that. Um, so yeah, page 17. Ah, okay, got, got here quickly. Uh, this is our posters then, uh, obviously in the center of the magazine now. So we've got the poster of uh, Nia, Nia in her claret and blue, like I said earlier on. That's really cool. It's good. I always think claret and blue are a really good color combination. Uh, there she is in, I think that's some sort of diving outfit or some sort of underwater. Uh, kind of instrument she, that she's wearing there. Uh, anyway, let me know in the comments below, folks, what, what she's wearing and maybe what season that was from. And yeah, just fill me in on that because I don't really know too much about uh, that particular uh, attire from there. And here we have what I think, God, this is actually one of my one of my favorite posters I think this is gonna be. Look at the coloration on it, the shadowing work there on these blades is fantastic. Look, you've even got him reflecting there on that giant blade. I mean, that is coal with some serious armor going on there. Look at the size of that shoulder pad. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? It's, it's kind of like, um, it reminds me of like, it's like Iron Man meets Ninjago or something like that. I like it. It's really good artistry. I've got to say that is really nice. That's definitely going to be one of mine. Uh, one of my favorite comics. That's going to go straight up on the wall. That is for the live streams. And I'm liking this as well. All this kind of uh, uh, brightness and highlights and stuff like that. Yeah, it's really cool. Really like that. But let me know what you think. Do you like this poster? Um, let's take a look at this one as well. Okay, so this is the other part of, uh, obviously, of, uh, of Nia. And that's Digi Nia. That is, I know that one. I'm just not too sure about this one, what that one's about. But let me know in the comments below, folks. Anyway, back to the puzzles. Page uh, 21, and we're back with the Skull Sorcerer. Uh, they're promoting him quite a lot in this uh, in this uh, magazine this month. Uh, I can see why, because it's all part and parcel of the new season. And we got ourselves, uh, it's a puzzle, and it looks like it's some sort of jigsaw puzzle. So you kind of just got to pop these back in the right place. Of course, it's a nice, easy one. Look at that skull there. I'll tell you what, if that's, if that's what the elements look like, it was fantastic. But yeah, um, I'm really liking that. I thought they were going to go like with sort of a plain white skull or something like that. Because uh, I've seen skeletons in Ninjago as well that kind of move around. I forget their names off the top of my head. But I, I remember they, they were kind of like a, a quite comical uh, in the cartoon. But this, if that's what the prints look like, yeah, bring it on. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Hey, back to the comic. So comic part two, here we go. That's a really nice picture, isn't it? We've got the uh, the Destiny's Bounty there. We've got the guards flying around, or buzzing around with their wings. Uh, we've got the uh, Shintaro there in the background. And look at all these, we've got an absolute armada of, uh, of dire bats coming their way. So she's not overly happy with Jay, but anyway, Jay's got them into this, uh, what's a bit of a pickle really, if I'm honest. And uh, he gets himself set up with a pair of wings. <laughs> Pretty cool. Again, liking the artwork. The artwork is fantastic. Look at, look at the way there. I, I, I just think it's quite clever sometimes when you don't always have to show what's going on in the background. Uh, you can just show, kind of have just a background with some sort of palatable colors. You know, it's just quite kind of nice, isn't it? There's nothing much going on there. Just just nice colors that work really well with the uh, with the minifigures uh, in, in, the, in, the, uh, in the front there, in the foreground. I think it's really, pretty cool. Anyway, back to the comic. Page 23 and uh, of course, uh, and, uh, oh, Jay there is starting to wing it. I mean, he's my he's my favourite uh, ninja. He is, so he's, hopefully he's going to do quite well. So he's not starting off too well there. He's just slapped a couple of people around the face with his wigs. <laughs> that is quite funny though. Um, and then down here, there we go. Our ninjas. So they they all get winged up and uh, up they go uh, into the sky. 
there we go then. So page 24, and Kai gets to grips with his wings pretty quickly. Uh, and looking at that, he's even got a trick up his sleeve as well. Page 25, uh, and Jay's getting, uh, he's kind of getting more airborne, and he's even gonna do some spin jitsu, some airborne spin jitsu. That's a kind of, that's a new, that's a new trick for the uh, spin jitsu uh, gang. And then we've got, uh, just just like a, 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 f a football uh, manager, uh, we've got, uh, Master Wu here shouting out some instructions uh, from the sidelines of the uh, Destiny's Bounties. That's quite cool though. 26 and uh, and that's it. The ninja take up, the, go up a notch and uh, apply their elemental powers uh, for the situation there under Wu's instructions. So what have we got going on there? It's got to be something cheesy going on. Is this haha, caught him in the cold. Yeah, that's not going to be a heavy, uh, a good landing for him if he's frozen. And uh, you've got coal there, a uh, classic coal uh, manoeuvre. It says, prepare for a rocky landing. Yeah, I'm liking that. That's cool, kind of cool. And uh, so Wu's getting a little bit, I'm liking his outfit, by the way, but Wu's getting a little bit worried about his ninja uh, becoming a little bit overconfident there. But anyway, they beat the dire bats and they save the day and they live happily ever after. That is, of course, until the next adventure. <laughs> and that's it, that's the comic over with. Um, yeah, it's quite good. I, I really liked it. This this particular page, I think that's a really cool looking page. That, that's probably my favorite page in the whole thing. That's kind of uh, the ninja doing their thing, controlling their elements there. That's pretty cool, I like in the artwork there with the, the crackling lightning. It's good, doesn't it? Anyway, onwards and upwards. Uh, page 28, and we've got this great big puzzle going on here. So 28 and 29, so a, a, double, a double page puzzle, which looks great. And uh, we're being asked, are you good enough for a cup of tea? Now I love a cup of tea, because obviously I'm British, but uh, Master Wu loves his tea as well. <laughs> so would it be served by Master Wu uh, if you make it over there or not? It traps at every turn. So no need, uh, you've got to kind of, you've got to, you've got to kind of draw your, uh, draw your route through, and there we go. We've got them at different places of it. You use different Ninjago figures. That's quite cool, isn't it? I'm liking that. So here, a wall of flame. So who would you use for that? Who's, who's, who controls the elements of fire? That's gonna be Kai, isn't it? Um, we've got the ice block here. So we're gonna use Zane for that. So yeah, it's quite cool. Okay, and it ups your skills as well. You kind of learn uh, what Ninjago figures uh, do what. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Naya, there we go, Nia, the master of water. I think she'll be pretty good for that one. We'll deploy her uh, to the lake, shall we? So anyway, uh, getting near to the end of the magazine now, 1331, we've got this, we've got this great big game going on here. It says uh, you will need up to four players, one Lego brick or a figure for each player. There's the start lines, there's the finish lines. And, uh, and then there, there you go, you throw your stuff in yeah, from, the, from a table. Get on here, get your numbers on there. So if you hit a two or something like that, you move forward two places. And there we go. And you, you've got to try not to hit any, anyone else. Otherwise, you'll end up in a duel. There we go. Again, it's kind of like a, a an almost snakes and ladders, but done over two pages. It's quite cool, actually. Let me know out there as well. If you ever buy these magazines, do you play do you play the games as well? Uh, my, main, my main thing with these is that obviously the figure that you get with it in the foil bag. Uh, or the builders, sometimes it can be. Uh, and I, like, I really like the posters as well, if I'm honest. I think they're pretty cool. Of course, love the comic. So over here, the Armoured Ninja. There we go. So we've got ourselves a, a, a bit of a, a crafty thing on the go here. So here we can create your own Armoured Ninja, which is pretty cool. Uh, we can colour the figure in and give it his name, give him his powers, or hers, of course, and, uh, and a different face and a different motto as well. well that's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah, I'm liking that. And of course, you've got all this new armory going on here as well. Look at that, that is a brilliant shield, isn't it? It really is for the, for the, for the right shoulder. It looks fantastic, it looks creepy crawly there. It looks horrible. So what would you call yours? And what powers would you give your elements? And uh, you can draw in a face and stuff like that and, and give he or she a motto too. Oh, I'm loving that, I think it's quite cool. So anyway, over here, what have we got over here? So this is page 33, and we get ourselves some, some fan posts, some ninja fan posts. Uh, we've got Zane up here saying, these pictures are all awesome. And they certainly are actually, I like this one. This is a cool one, I'm liking that. A uh, game of battle, uh, someone's done a picture there of a, of a Digi Lloyd, he's looking good. Got um, Kai over here doing his, doing his thing with a spin jitsu. And we've got another Kai over here actually, just kind of in his kind of normal attire, loving the torso there. I think that looks quite cool. We've got a fire 
going down his uh, his shirt as well. That's kind of cool. Like he actually look his hair. His hair looks like it's it's all flames as well. I'm sure they've done that on purpose. So anyway, page 34. So we get some details of what's coming up uh, next month. And I've got to say, I'm blimey, I'm looking forward to this. Look at this. this is a cool looking. So not only do we get a Digi Lloyd, which I think is fantastic, uh, we also get here. Look, we've got this Joypad here, which is the Joypad Hill from uh, the the, uh, the well, what I was going to say the new series, but it's the last series, the Prime Empire uh, series of Ninjago. And he's saying there, it's game over. With, uh, with a spiky controller. I think that's, that's underplaying that quite a bit there, but yeah, just getting that controller, that alone will be worth uh, just buying the magazine. Over here, we've got uh, Ninjago Special Edition. Yeah, I'm, I've actually got that to do in a couple of weeks. What have we got here? We've got another special edition. So this time of year, folks, uh, every month, obviously you get the usual magazines, but this time of year, you get all the specials coming out as well. So you'll be seeing, hopefully, all of these from me. We've got the Star Wars one as well. I've not been able to get hold of that one yet, but certainly this one, the Jurassic World. I did that one last week and uh, that went down really well, actually. But let me know if you like Jurassic World and you, if you like uh, the, the Lego City uh, magazine that I covered, because my usual two, if I'm honest, is usually Star Wars and of course Ninjago. But let me know in the comments below. There's the answers there to uh, all, the, uh, all the puzzles, all the solutions there, so I'll cover that up. And then over here, uh, what have we got this month then at the back? We've got ourselves a cool dungeon box. So what have we got to do? So we've got to cut this out, uh, glue up a few edges, and make yourself some sort of treasure chest, I suppose. Yeah, that's quite cool, isn't it? Liking that, there we go. That's, the, that's what it will look like when it's finished. There's our heroes uh, there. They're looking pretty cool. Again, liking the artwork, new artwork. What do you think of it? Do you like their new, do you like their new outfits, their new attire? I think it looks pretty cool, actually. It's quite heavy looking. Um, but I suppose as the, as the weeks go on from now, in the next few months, we'll find out more and more about this story. Anyway, I'm certainly liking the new sets. Uh, from Ninjago, I think they're great. And if you've built any of these uh, kind of skull uh, dungeon ones, uh, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on it. Anyway, the next thing to look at is obviously my thoughts on this file bag. So this is Zane wearing his Secrets of Forbidden Spin Jitsu outfit. I've got to say, I think it's really good actually. It was a really cool build on the, the striking things that you get with this particular minifigure of Zane are these here, these climbing drills. How cool are they? I mean, they look quite deadly, don't they? Uh, they kind of, they are tools, uh, but I've got to be honest, if you use them in the wrong manner, yeah, I think they'd be quite decent weapons uh, for Zane, I have to say. But anyway, uh, the build of those is quite nice. They're made up of five different elements, but one particular element that's quite, quite nicely done, and that's just that one here, is this pin just there. And if I turn that around, you'll see the other side of it. And that holds those shurikens in place quite nicely. And the cool thing with that is as well, that particular pin is exactly the same color as the rest of Zane himself, which I think is a nice touch. So let's take these off then, and we'll just kind of start getting closer down into looking at Zane himself. I'm gonna let go of him, Zane, no, he doesn't wanna let go of it. He's got a good grip on him for a minifigure. <laughs> Anyway, uh, around the back here, it comes with a katana as well, which is nicely held in uh, with that back holster. And what I really like about this particular holster as well, and I've seen this with a couple of the other Ninjago figs, is that you get this really nice shoulder shielding just there. I think that looks really smart, and it's got a, a kind of a, uh, an indentation of a shuriken with it as well. But I think that's really cool. I really like it. So let's take off the Ninjago mask. And something I do like about this, not only do I like the coloration, I like the fact that it's actually jewel molded as well with, that, with the gray scarf that goes around it. You might just be able to just make it out there where my finger is. See that, you can see where the jewel molding meets uh, and is fused together. I think that's really cool. So over here, we've got this kind of cheesy looking frown of his. Obviously he's being, a, he's been, him being an Ninjoid, uh, he's kind of like the uh, Ninjago's answer to having a robot. And then around this side, of course, in true Zane style, you get ourselves a nice cheesy grin as well. <laughs> I think he's pretty cool. He's a cool looking figure, that's for sure. So anyway, let's, um, let's take a look at the printing on the torso. And I'm gonna take this off because it actually covers over some decent printing on his, uh, on his back as well. So let's pop that out. Let's, um, let's pop his mask back on again, eh? so we get that, that kind of full effect. So on the front of his torso, uh, you get this really nice outline of a jacket, uh, and you've got these nice pocket 
just here as well. And when the light just hits it right, you get this like shimmering effect as well. So it's kind of like a, a combination of like a, like a light gray, a, a kind of battleship gray and silver. And that's really used to good effect here. And of course you've got some other wrinkled out lines as well. I think it looks really cool. Now having taken off the holster, you can see on the back here, let's take that off again and you'll see the full effect. And there we go, you get another pocket on the back there and you get all the braces and everything that he's got there that continues from around the front. I think the torso has actually got some really, really good printing on it. But let me know what you think about the, uh, the torso prints down in the comments below. Then anyway, going down on the hips, uh, they're a perfect match for not only that pin that we were talking about with his drill, uh, but also as well with his hands as well. I think that looks pretty cool. I like him there. I don't think there's any printing on the back. Nope, no printing on the back. No printing on the side of the torso or on the side of the legs, but we get plenty of printing on the front there with his uh, 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 light blue belt uh, hanging down the left side of his leg. And of course, got loads of kind of wrinkled printing going on in there as well. I think it's uh, I think it's a really nice looking figure actually. I like it. I always the, the Zane figures. I always think look really good with the the colorations that they use. I think the build uh, was a really nice easy build. It was nice having all those extra elements as well to kind of build up the climbing uh, drills and that. I think it's a nice touch. Uh, you get the katana as well, which I always think looks good. But yeah, what a great what a great figure uh, to get in a foil bag. He's definitely a nice addition to my Zane collection. So there you have it then, my look at the most recent official Lego Ninjago magazine. Now I hope you enjoyed this quick look inside on what it has to offer in terms of content and builds. But let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and feelings are on these magazines. Do you like the overall content with the games, puzzles, craft elements and do those four bags spark your interest? Now don't forget, for up-to-date news on London Bridge Bricks, please do follow the channel on Instagram and Twitter. And if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to London Bridge Bricks, why not hop on and subscribe and become a big part of the LBB family. Thank you as always for tuning in. I'll leave you now with some videos that I think you might like.